Born to a carpenter as a father and a nurse as a mother in the city of Stratholme, Jack Zoolanther McFinn was a free-spirited child, always getting into trouble due to pranks and other forms of wickedness. His father, Zoolanther McFinn III, owned a construction company often hired by the authorities to repair roads, buildings, and bridges. Jack's mother, Juliet McFinn, worked at the local infirmary in Stratholm, tending to the sick and injured. Jack spent most of his time playing with the local children in the busy streets of the city, using their waking hours to harass bypassing citizens and annoying merchants. Jack had always been fascinated by stories of adventure out at sea, told by sailors passing through Stratholm, explaining their dangerous and eventful daily duties. So at the age of 16, Jack McFinn decided to take off toward the city of Lordaeron to enlist in the Navy. After a few years serving as a deckhand on the 28th Lordaeron Pride, the Second War was coming to an end. Jack was offered a chance to become a wiper at the engineering room. He gladly accepted the offer and began right away. As he spent many hours tinkering with the primitive engineering material, Jack gained a sense of control over the machinery and in time learned the tiniest of details, expanding his potential mind that would serve him well in the future to come. After six years of service, the ship met with disaster. The 28th Lordaeron Pride was struck down by a horde juggernaut on the Great Sea. Most of the crew were slain. Those that survived were scattered across the ocean. Jack was one of those survivors. He washed up on the northern shores of Westfall and was found by local farmers. He was taken to the city of Stormwind, being rebuilt after the Second War, still enduring reparations. There he sought employment with the Stormwind Navy, and soon enough he was back out at sea. After several years of service on the 36th Stormwind Line, the captain of the ship fell ill and died soon after. The crew was given a month's vacation. Jack took the liberty of this moment to travel north, back to Stratholme. The journey north took several weeks on foot, including the time he spent in taverns and cities along the way. When he had reached the kingdom of Lordaeron, he was met by people that spread rumors about the Prince of Lordaeron going mad. Jack heard the news that the Prince had invaded his home city of Stratholme and set off with great speed toward the Northlands. When Jack arrived at the scene, the city of Stratholme was in ruins covered by a thick layer of smoke rising from the burning buildings. The dead bodies of civilians were gathered in piles to be burnt. His former home was now a rubble of rock and wood, set aflame like the rest of the city. His family were nowhere to be seen, and he assumed the worst. From that day on, Jack swore that he would find the prince and make him pay for what he had done. What Jack did after the incident in Stratholme is still unknown. He disappeared and was not seen for years until the beckoning of the Third War, where he was reported seen amongst the armies under the command of Jaina Proudmoore, claiming his name was simply Black. He was later referred to as Garion and Gary. He became revered for his skill in engineering, aiding the armies with explosives and other practical contraptions. By the end of the Third War, Garion vanished from the armies of the Alliance, not to be seen until several years later in the city of Stormwind. What he does these days are only known by a few. Rumor has it that he went north to the Plaguelands to seek something out. It remains to be seen. <laughs>